بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone I'm Faris Ali Zalai from University of Jeddah Faculty of Engineering Today I will explain for you an example about weighted moving average on BBC material production planning control Weighted moving average is one of the methods used to forecast the next period demand. Advantages for weighted moving average. It's easily understood, easily computed, provides stable forecast. This is the formula of weighted moving average. It's the submission of multiply the weight of the period with the demand of the period over the submission of weights. This formula will be clear with the example. Here is the example. We have 12 months with the actual sales for each month. Also, we have the 3 month weighted moving average column with weight 3, 2 and 1. To forecast the demand of month 4, we will apply the formula in the previous slide. As you see, we will take the submission of the sales in the previous months multiplied on its weights over the submission of the weights. Then we will get the value 12.16 which represents the forecasted demand for month 4. To forecast the demand of month 5, we will apply the same steps. By taking the submission of the sales on three previous months multiplied on its weights over the submission of its weights. And we will get the value 14.33 which represents the forecast demand for month 5. Applying the same steps to forecast month 6. By taking the submission of the sales on three previous months multiplied on its weights over the submission of its weights and we will get the value 17 which represent the forecasted demand for month 6. And so far so on until we reach the last period targeted to forecast with the value 18.7 which represent the forecasted demand for month 12. In the end, thank you all for listening. I hope you all enjoyed on my presentation. I am Faris Ali Zalim from the University of Jeddah. I hope all the best for you. Thank you.